The paper the Institute publishes today on housing fits exactly the template of the type of policy we're trying to produce. Radical but sensible, progressive, but in a way that it aligns with the modern world and is not in defiance of it. David Adler, a housing expert, produces five radical proposals which, taken together, form a bold and ambitious agenda that will help us resolve the housing crisis in a way that undercuts the alienation many people feel and the dissatisfaction with democracy. It does, however, mark one quite radical departure in housing philosophy. Whilst we celebrate in the paper the virtues of home ownership, we also accept that we definitely need in this country a flourishing rental sector and there may be other forms of tenure besides home ownership that suit the needs of people, particularly at certain stages of their life. It's, however, very hard to produce such a policy paper today without once again contemplating the extraordinary and distractive impact of Brexit. These issues around housing are exactly the type of thing where the energies and focus and government should be directed. And the government, of course, did make certain proposals on housing in the budget, but we need to go far further. And just think of how much more productive it would be if the energies of ministers and those civil servants, instead of being directed towards Brexit, were actually directed towards how we resolve this housing crisis in a way that is fair, just, modern and effective. So these papers that we're producing fit a pattern. Whether it's the papers on European migration, how we retain freedom of movement, but put in proper controls around it, the recent paper we did on technology, this paper on housing, or the papers to come on areas like infrastructure, welfare, public services. The purpose of all of them together is to create a policy platform and agenda that shows the country there is a different and better way to meet the urgent requirements of change, but in a way that deals with the real problems and doesn't end up with the destructive impact of Brexit. So I hope you will study these proposals, uh, look at them and engage in debate with us. You can do that by going to hashtag TBI housing or you can follow us online in the debate we're conducting. Thank you very much.